Hello, I'm Mary Hunt, the lead map maker of Fee Jefferson County. This map is about food, education, and enterprise development for our students. Here on the east side of the Olympic Mountains, we only get about 19 inches of rain a year. So as the climate gets hotter, being able to grow our own food will become more important. By simply growing and eating organic food three times a day, we can improve many climate-related conditions. Cleaner air, water, soil, while improving our own health and building our community. That's our goal. Our school Farm to Fork program is about one of 40,000 such programs across the U.S. We are fortunate to have a bounty of fresh local food, but that is meaningless unless the kids know how to plant, prepare, and share that bounty. That's where the green map can expose them to that larger growing community. Last year, gleaners gathered around, oh, 5,000 pounds of apples for applesauce, which ended up in the school lunches. Nearby farms also supplied veggies and meat. It's education through eating. Feed Jeffco started at one school and now reaches over 2,500 students in the region. We chose the open green map to show off our food system for its functionality, its collaborative style, and its deep library of how to use ideas. Currently we have content on over 100 sites, with more being added. Not only can students and teachers locate local resources, but anyone else in the community can use it as well. Each site is the sum of its parts. Many farms produce food, but it also offers products and maybe even entertainment. Once you click on a location dot, you'll be offered a snapshot of what the site contains and a chance to open up more information. Maybe kids want to search using words. In this example, they search for any site that mentions food bank in its copy, whether it's in the headline or the description. Students can see the plethora of sites that opened up on the right-hand side that somehow are affiliated with the food bank activities. Then click on each one individually to learn more. Or they can search by using icons. The first and primary icon is what always shows up on the map, unless they search for something else. In this case, Community Gardens comes up on the map. But if they search for schools, then the school icon is what shows up on the map. So let's dig into our food system. Now that our site is created, it can be deployed many ways by site, icon, words, hard copy, or a database. This is an example of what icon options are available on the local food section. But there are more if you click on the culture and society, sustainable living, or on the nature sections. When kids do conduct a search by icon, they filter out everything except the topic they're looking for. Let's say a student wants to know who is making the specialty foods in the area. She can click on the artisanal food icon. Another student wants to know how people are composting successfully. Or maybe talk to greenhouse owners. Or where to volunteer. Everything can be filtered. With 55 icons being used, they have essentially 55 maps with thousands of ways to slice and dice the information. While we're building out the Feed Jeffco map, a campaign tool was developed. This is a fast way of creating new sites with a specific purpose. Here a class is interested in putting American chestnut trees on the map. It's good to know that all maps, sites, campaigns, can be kept in private mode until they're ready to go for the world to see. With 100 sites, we found by planning ahead, it was easy to capture and present consistent information with a similar format. That also made it easier for users to read the information as it was expanded. An allocation dot, I'm sorry, a location dot, opens to a snapshot and then a large overview page. The overview page then can link to content outside of the green map.
To make that happen, reverse the process. First decide what you want on each overview page, add that copy, pictures in the same order, and then that page autofills the snapshot page, and then the map primary dot. We use bullet points over paragraphs for a quicker read. If students need more in-depth information, they can go to the website link. Sometimes dots don't tell the story fast enough. Students can also see the big picture of snapshots. They just click on the squares in the bottom left corner. One click and it takes them to a page with all the shots. Once there, they can click on the list icon and get a text overview of all sites which can scan and then export to a spreadsheet. Click on the squares and they're back on the snapshots. Just because Open Green Maps is online doesn't mean it can't print the information. On a recent farm tour, we printed off the snapshots and mounted them on a foam board. It was very powerful to see the entire food system at a glance. A real who's who of the local food production and distribution. People came to see the food bank gardens, but then they saw how the gardens were part of the bigger food system. Some of our gardens overlap with schools. During the school year, students raise plants and during the summer, volunteers take over. The food isn't wasted. It goes to school lunches and culinary courses or to the food bank. Students in the community can see how one map serves education, organizations, and businesses all at the same time. The living map is always being updated and growing. Take a tour and see how we grow food and kids using Open Green Map to capture how we feed Jefferson County. And thanks for your time.